And for the travelers and the aspiring travelers amongst us like myself, uh, Daryl Carr has uh, some updates. Daryl. Some news that would interest you, Daniel. Passenger numbers through Kotoka International Airport uh, have gone up as it has become a preferred airport within the sub region. According to the Director General of the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority, Engineer Simon Alote, the opening of Terminal 3 was a major contributor to the significant increase in passenger volumes. Engineer Alute, who spoke to my colleague Sheila Tamaklu, says the numbers are expected to go up by 10 to 15 percent. We've seen rapid improvements in passenger throughput, both domestically and internationally, with the operationalization of the Terminal 3 at KIA. A lot more West Africans are transiting through Accra because they find Accra very friendly, very convenient. So it's boosting uh, passenger numbers. Domestic travel. Oh, yes. Um, for international, we should experience an increase of about 10 to 15%. We expect to have a year on year figure of about 2.5 million passengers for domestic. The growth is even more significant. Um, we should be in the year with around six to seven hundred thousand passengers, which would be like a thirty to forty percent increase over last year. So easily, we expect over three million passenger throughput this year, as compared to about two point two, two point three last year. So it's a significant growth. Well, uh, Sheila Tamako joins me in studio with more on this. Sheila, so what exactly about Terminal 3 causes um, surge in passenger numbers, and how is that good for us? Okay, so for Terminal 3, like most people describe it, it's an ultra-modern facility. Now, when we say ultra-modern, we have all these um, new infrastructure that formerly was not there. For instance, the air bridges, you know, um, formerly used to go with the stairs that mm. is provided by the ground handlers. Now, mm. you just go through directly to the airport. So these are some of the new facilities we are talking about. And also we are looking at the luggage handling system, which is an automated one. It's very modern. So all these things come together to make the facility very convenient and very, very, like, let's say, nice and up to state. Yeah, yeah. center of attraction. So people want to travel uh, through Terminal 3. Now, yeah. speak of the terminals. What's happening to Terminal 2? So for Terminal 2, actually, um, it was upgraded for international purposes. However, Terminal 3 also came on board, so everything was shifted to Terminal 3. Now, the Terminal 2 is currently being used for domestic travel. However, the facility can take up to about 2.5 million passengers per annum. But for domestic, we are just doing, uh, we were around 450,000 passengers and mm. climbing slowly to about 700,000. So clearly, the facility is being underutilized. Now, uh, what we are hearing from the management is that they are in talks with some partners or, let's say, investors look, to look at ways to convert portions of the facility to be used for recreational activities, probably like um, a shop or mm. probably a place where people can come and have some fun, like watch movies or some, something we are yet to actually know. Interesting. We see how that uh, happens. But uh, finally, a very important development within the domestic aviation space this week. Uh, we're expecting that Africa World Airlines would um, have its first commercial flight to WA. Yes, that's true. So as you're speaking, they're actually preparing for that. Um, I believe the commercial manager is already there. And they are going to actually have the maiden flight tomorrow from Accra to Tamale, then to Wa tomorrow, which is going to be something huge because then the northern region gets to have two operational airports. And for passengers who are going um, up there, it's even good because what I noticed is when you alight at Tamale, it's still about four hours to get to Wa. So this is going to bring a lot of convenience to the traveling public, especially in the north. And you, you, had, you had an earlier question about the benefit of passenger throughput increasing at the Terminal 3. Now, when you look at passenger numbers increasing, per, um, what you're going to see is this. It's a whole cycle. Mm. Now, when pa more passengers are going through your airport, um, there are charges, security charges on this, and that means a lot more revenue for Ghana Airport Company. Now, when also airlines notice that a lot of um, passengers prefer using your airport, a lot of them are going to want to operate here to feed on those passenger numbers. So it's going to help us with our whole hub concept. And for passengers, you get to have... Um, a wide range of choices when it comes to um, an airline to travel. So it's a very huge right. opportunity.
right. opportunity for us. A great perspective there, Sheila Tamako. Thanks very much indeed. There's more business news coming up on the marketplace. In the meantime, Joy News Today continues. Mm -hmm.